Life in the South. Created by Tiara, Bridget, Molly, Kiara, Brandon, Kaylin, Evan, Javon, Chris, and Valeria. Slavery. The slavery in the South was very cruel, but the enslaved people made up a new culture to survive. Where are my slaves? The drops will go without water. Hey, hey, the indigo and tobacco won't grow their cells. Where are my perk? It's all we do. A little break would be nice. All the native people are starving out there. But we're native people as work. Oh gosh, why are so hard? Yes. What? Big pitch is a very hard job to do. Eliza's Discovery. In 1744, I finally developed a new type of indigo. It was much easier to grow. Soon, South Carolina sold more than 100,000 pounds of 17-year-old Charlestown. Plantations and small farms. The southern colonies had larger plantations and more farms than the other colonies. The slaves worked on every part of the farms and plantations. The plantations and farms were the only thing the colonists lived off of. The Southern Colonies. Seven, the state of Virginia became the first permanent English colony in North America. The first colonists to settle in Virginia were the ones who were searching for gold. But when they searched and found no gold, they decided to make plantations cover. King Charles I gave me a setting of land, which is now as Maryland. I claimed the land and lived happily in the year of 1733. Owen Ford led the first group of settlers in to Georgia. I was the English lawmaker and an army officer. I soon made friendly relationships, relationships with nearby Americans. Indian tribes, I made very strict rules for their colony. The Georgia colonists were not allowed to be, drink any 
alcohol, they ne they neither could own their own slaves or elect legislator. I'm King George II, and in 1733, I started another colony to keep Spanish and French away from South Carolina. I gave this land to James Orville. Not like these rules. Later on, many of the rules were changed. Slaves were to work on the plantation as soon as the slavery was done. Family life. The children who had wealthy parents lived a very easy life. They had school at home, and their parents taught them everything they would need to know for living.